So what I'm going to do today is teach you how to use our Canva and MailChimp email templates. So the first thing that you'll do is this is the file that you'll get when you do purchase and download one of these templates. And it has two links in it, one for Canva and one for MailChimp. Both accounts, you'll want to create the free version, free Canva account and a free MailChimp account. And I do recommend having some experience with MailChimp to build your campaign. Just so that you're a little faster at it and you understand. The first thing you'll want to do to get started is click on your Canva link. And once we do that, we'll get the template where we can see the top portion of the email and we will use the template. And I created a free Canva account just for this video. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be a pro account. You can use this with any Canva account. As you can see, you'll just have the top portion of the email and you might be confused about where the rest is, but we will get to that and it's in MailChimp. And you'll see the reasoning kind of behind that when we get to that point. And now what you'll want to do is customize this to your liking. You can change text, you can change colors. Let's see, just do this really quick. And if you'd like, you can just make this any color you'd like to match your own branding. Obviously, this doesn't look the best, but hopefully you'd take a little more time to kind of customize it to you. And then you can also add different photos. So you can also add different photos to this. Again, not the best design here, but take your time to make it exactly as you'd like. Now the next thing that we'll do when we get this portion how we'd like is go back to our PDF and click on the MailChimp link. And if you're not logged into your account, it will ask you to log in. And if you're already logged in, like I am here, it will just put the template right into MailChimp for you. You don't have to do anything. It's just that one click install. And this is our eucalyptus template. So we'll see it right here. And all we have to do is edit. And if you're familiar with MailChimp, this will look totally normal to you, totally familiar. And it brings up our drag and drop editor for MailChimp. And as you can see, each of these blocks is a different section. This is an image section where you can add your logo, whatever that might be. And then we'll get to our image that we just customized in Canva. And it's actually super easy to get this image into MailChimp from Canva. So we'll go back to Canva and we want to replace that stock image that I give you with your customized one. So you'll go right up here in the corner next to download and show more and you will get to MailChimp and we will ask it to connect to MailChimp and it will probably have us log in again. So we'll just log in and authorize the connection. And once they're connected, you shouldn't have to do this again. And back to connecting MailChimp to Canva. We just want to authorize it, allow it to connect. And then MailChimp and Canva should be connected. As you can see, this changes and it says to save your design file in your MailChimp and you'll just hit save. Be the usual Canva exporting pretty little bar right there. And you'll just wait for that. So you'll get this message that says your design has been saved. That's a good sign. 
That means that your design went to MailChimp. And close out of that. We'll go back to our MailChimp and then you will click on this image right here and go to replace. And then once that loads, you will see right here in your content studio with all your other images from previous campaigns, this will just be here like magic. So you can click on it and insert it into your campaign. So as you can see, now your image is in MailChimp and you can link to it. If you have a specific page on your website that you are advertising in that image, you would be able to link to it. The fun thing about having it in MailChimp rather than just in Canva is you can highlight certain products, certain articles on your website because you have the ability to add multiple links to your email. So then you can go ahead and click on one of these sections right here to edit them. And you can replace the image with something else from your, your folder. <laughs> Obviously not the correct image for this design, but just to show you how it would work. You can put a caption there and then you can click on the button and link to a web address anywhere you'd like to on your website. It could be an article, it could be a product on a specific e-commerce site, certain service, and you'll be able to have three different links within this email. And you can always add more to this. You could copy this and copy this. And everything's drag and drop, so you can just move it right up there and have a third. You want to highlight three different products and you customize this one the same way. And you can also change the colors of these buttons through the style editor. And if you get really technical with you, with this and you want to try a little bit more advanced technique to get the exact color, it's called a hex code right here. You can go back to your Canva, click on the color of a certain item, and if you just click on the new color while you have that color selected. It will give you the little hex codes. You can just copy it and you can paste it right into MailChimp and you'll see your button turn the color that will perfectly match your image. Pretty fun. Down here you have your social links so you'll be able to put your own social media in there, your own website, each one of these you can also add your own link to. For these you'll just highlight them and add a link. And if you're familiar with MailChimp, you already know all this. And you can make each of these go to a different section on your website. This is part of the footer of your email. And if you're sending another campaign, you might want to keep this here while changing all your images and text here. Just so that's consistent throughout your branding in all your campaigns and it always gives people a chance to visit other pages on your website and that is pretty much it obviously put your logo here that's how you customize these MailChimp Canva email templates so it's a little more exciting than just having a regular picture here just a regular square but because it's both in MailChimp and Canva you're able to add multiple links to this. It's fully responsive as well. So on mobile, the stack, I might be able to actually show you. If I go on to mobile, our Canva image stays the same, but these stack so people can read them a lot more easily. And the text stays larger. Whereas if we just had a single image, we could only hook it to one link and it wouldn't really be responsive to format for mobile. And since most people are on their phones these days, it's so important to be mobile friendly. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions at all about how to edit these or you're struggling, feel free to shoot me a message or email me at tamara at 31 palms, number 31 
palms.com and I'm happy to help you through this process. Thanks for watching.